Hi everyone, me again. I did a video yesterday integrating a Sonoff Mini uh, smart Wi-Fi switch flashed with Tasmota firmware, integrating that into my Vera Z-Wave hub. Uh, so that all went nicely, but there is a couple of bits that you need to do just to optimize that integration. And let me just demonstrate what I mean. So on the left here, this is the web interface for my Vera uh, hub on the right is the web GUI of the uh, Sonoff with the Tasmota um, uh, firmware flashed onto it. You can see both are showing the, uh, in this case, my front wall garden lights uh, off. If I switch that on uh, from the Vera interface, you can see it also shows on in the Tasmota interface. Likewise, if I switch that off on Vera, it goes off on Tasmota. But what doesn't work is if you do it the other way around so if the Tasmota device toggles to off you can see on the left in Vera it does not register that change of state and that's because um, the uh, Sonoff Mini is not reporting its status it takes an instruction changes its status but does not report back to the hub as a um, Z-Wave device would but we can change that uh, Tasmota is an awesome bit of firmware in my opinion and if you look through the, the web menu there's something called a console so in the console we can write rules um, amongst many other things that you can change parameters of so here I've written uh, a particular rule this rule has two parts to it when it changed status to on which is here denoted by this value of one and then zero which means it's changing its status to off what it will do is report back to the vera hub so you need to know your vera hubs ip address in my case that's 192.168.1.111 but you also need to put the port what's going to listen to these commands which is 3480 the only other variable you need is the device id in my case this is 556 this is the device id that's been assigned to the device by at the Vera hub itself. So if I just go back to the Vera hub, go to the device, go into the settings, click on settings, and you can see here the device, in my case, ID is 556. So nice and simple to get the data. I'll post the rule, the Tasmota rule in the description so you can copy and paste. All you need to do, as I say, is just change the IP address of your Vera hub and the device ID uh, that's been assigned by your Vera Hub. So let's go ahead and do that. So if I copy all of it, including um, the text rule one, control C to put that into the clipboard, go to the Tasmota console interface, then here at the bottom where it says enter command, control V for paste and press enter. You wanna make sure that rule is off. So you type rule one space and on, hit enter, go to the main menu, do a restart just to make sure everything takes effect and then go back to the main menu here we go so i've got both interfaces open vera on the left tasmota on the right so now let's go back if i just turn on from vera uh, the device on the right tasmota shows that as on and then if i just turn off again just to make sure it goes off. You can see Tasmota goes off, but now the real test is to change the state from the Tasmota interface. So if I hit toggle to turn it on, you can see straight away uh, on the left, Vera has registered that that device has changed state to on. Let's just test by turning it off. Straight away it goes off. So now this Sonoff Wi-Fi um, smart switch flashed with Tasmota is fully integrated to the Vera hub just as a Z-Wave device would be. Um, it knows when the device has changed. So hope that helps. Um, if it does, please consider subscribing and even hitting that notification bell so that we see each other in the next video. Take care, everyone.